cold outside. But the fire hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to do a Christmas book video for you guys. I did about maybe two years ago a Christmas advent calendar inspiration video where I shared with you guys my Christmas books combined with winter books. But this year I have enough Christmas books to share with you guys a full blown Christmas book video. I have some new books I picked out for Jackson for this year that I'm really excited to share with you guys and show him later on during Vlogmas. We are doing Vlogmas here on my channel. But let's get into why you're here is all of the Christmas books I have a ton so let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with the newer books for this year that we picked up. Just in case you have been following me for a while, watch my hauls, things like that. So my son is almost three. He'll be three in March. So I do still use board books, but we also use picture books as well. So in this video, you'll see some board books, some lift and flat books, touch and feel, that kind of stuff. So the first book is the Paw Patrol Christmas Heroes book. And if you have a little toddler, you no, probably with Paw Patrol, especially if they're a boy. Jackson is obsessed, so I had to grab this one. They go on a Christmas adventure, find Santa's sleigh, also find the magic Christmas star. No lift and flaps or anything in this one, but it has the characters that I know my son will love. So if you have a Paw Patrol lover in your house, this is a fun Christmas book for them. Another board book we picked out for Jackson this year is Merry Christmas Mouse. We love Mouse and Cookie. We love the TV show that's actually on Amazon Prime as well. So this is another kind of storyline for that. Mouse puts one star on the Christmas tree. He has two angels, three snowflakes. So this is a nice counting book that they can count the snowflakes. And it goes all the way up to 10 rockets and then a hundred, only a hundred more to go with the ornaments, things like that. So this book is The Mouse from Mouse and Cookie and he is decorating the Christmas tree, putting on all the ornaments. Really cute book. It also has a nice kind of glitter embossing detail on it. So this I thought would be a nice kind of addition to our Christmas book collection. And then the next Christmas book I picked out for Jackson is this book. You might have seen this in a Target haul I did on my channel. I will link that up above, but this is There's an Elf in Your Book, and he loves this. They, he also ha makes There's a Monster in Your Book and a Dragon in Your Book. So this is a very engaging book for your little one. Pretty much you're pretending there's a monster in your book. There are different things that you have to do and trick him. You have to say he's a Weim Weisenheimer. This next test is do your loudest, stinkiest pizza burp. Definitely a boy kind of book, but it's still fun for kids. What do elves do in the toilet? Jingle smells. I mean, it's just kind of a fun, cutesy little book if you like humor and if you like to just have fun with your little one. This one is really cute. And then Jackson right now is really into excavators and construction sites, things like that. So I saw this book and had to pick it out for him. This is the construction site on Christmas night. And I haven't fully read any of these newer books yet, but I assume it's just about a construction kind of site. Digging, scooping, chugging, clouds rolling in, it starts to snow. Thanks for all you do from our crew. Merry Christmas, Excavator. Just kind of a cute book. I think Jackson will love. He's very into his dump trucks and excavators, things like that. So I saw this and had to grab it up. And then the last kind of newer edition for our Christmas books this year right now is Dino Christmas. And I'm planning on giving this to him on Christmas Eve with his box. But we got Dino Thanksgiving this past Thanksgiving. So I saw a Dino Christmas and it was... Definitely one that I added to cart, if you know what I mean. So I like this because it has like the same kind of rhyming as the Thanksgiving, Dino Thanksgiving. So Fat Flake Stitch, a quilt of white, perfect for a snowball fight. Raptor races, Stego chases, see the smiles on happy faces. And then you have just like basically the Dino family getting ready for Christmas. A Christmas parade, getting Santa Claus here, or yeah, he says Santa Claus, like Claus. But I don't know, it's kind of a cute book if you have a toddler who loves dinosaurs. This is nice. I love when books rhyme too. So I'm excited to read this book with Jackson for this Christmas time. So moving on to the rest of our Christmas books in our 
Christmas collection. I have separated it now from like a baby board books to pop lift and flat books to our picture books and some that you can actually do things with the picture books which are pretty neat. So I'm going to start off with the baby books. This is one from Usborn. I am not a seller of Usborn but I do really like to get some other Christmas books. This is just a fold out book Christmas. What I like most about these is it's just pages with just like one thing that is kind of a meaning of Christmas or that is associated with Christmas, like penguin, snowflake, present, stocking, and star. But what I like most about it is if you do have a baby, especially doing tummy time, you can just lay this out on the floor next to them and it's just different pictures that they can look at. And then the same kind of side for those little one pictures. So it's something different and engaging for your little baby and in that Christmas spirit. But this one has a big kind of picture of all the elves and Santa Claus getting the sleigh ready. So a really cute kind of Christmas gift idea for a little one. Then I have My First Christmas. This is a Disney book. This is Touch and Feel, which Jackson is still liking at the age of almost three. Carolers singing Jingle Bells Ringing. So it's basically getting ready for Christmas. There are different touch and feel things for them to touch and it's a lot of different Disney characters in the book. So really cute, fun, and Jackson has loved this book since his first Christmas and we still always play with it and pull it out. Another touch and feel book is the Baby Touch and Feel Christmas and this is kind of the same thing as there's one picture on each page but there's different things to touch on each page like her wings of the angel, Christmas tree, the ornament, penguin as belly, things like that. So Cute book for babies. Jackson still likes this too. He actually sleeps with his touch and feels a lot. And then the last kind of big touch and feel book I have to share with you guys is the That's Not My Elf Usborn. They have a bunch of other kind of That's Not My books that all of them are touch and feel but this elf one is one in particular I pull out for Christmas time. This one has buttons they're basically going through each page and it's not their elf because their boots are too shiny, their buttons are too rough. And then at the end it's their elf because their belt is so sparkly. So kind of a cute fun engaging book for your little one. So a couple more generic kind of Christmas books that are board books is the Itsy Bitsy Reindeer and it is the same music tone as the Itsy Bitsy Spider, but it's the reindeer working in Santa's shop, getting things ready for Christmas time, and going on a sleigh ride at the end. So if you like singing music books, this is a nice engaging one. Next one is Spot's Christmas. I actually don't have the original Spot book, but Spot's Christmas is cute. We read this a lot. It's basically him getting ready for Christmas time, making cookies with his mom, wrapping presents, making some cards, and just getting ready for Santa to come and bring him presents in his stocking. So a cute little board book for your spot lovers out there. The next one is a, a giant book right here. This is a Duck and Goose. It's time for Christmas. And I really like this one because it is big, so engaging. Illustrations are fun, but it's basically Goose thinking it's time for random activities, but Duck is saying it's not time for it. So Goose, it's not time for catching snowflakes. It's not time for throwing snowballs. It's not time for making a snow goose, but at the end it's time for Christmas. So really fun, cute book. This is a series and I love the Christmas one for Jackson. So moving on to some board books or pop-up books that are a little bit more engaging and more rippable, I guess is the word. So you need a little bit older children for these books. The first thing is the Christmas Treats. This is a pop-up book. And this one's really cute because it pops up and you have to hold it kind of like a tabletop sideways. So like the cake is, I don't know if you can see that, the cake is popping out. But basically it's the elves getting ready for all the Christmas treats for Santa Claus. And just kind of a fun different pop-up book that I don't see around that much and a cute little story quick read. A new book I got Jackson this year and he has loved. It was in a vlogmas video. This is Thomas Counts on Christmas and he is very obsessed 
with Thomas the Tank Engine. Not so much the TV show, but more like the toys and the trains, things like that. So this is Thomas and his buddies getting ready for Christmas time. There are a ton of lift and flaps. They say there are over 30, but they're not the lift and flaps that say like something where you have to like read. They could just find different surprises. Like in the oven is some Christmas cookies. There are different like presents hidden, things like that. So Jackson really likes having something to do and pulling the lift and flaps, seeing what hidden messages are inside. So a fun kind of train Christmas book. I believe my parents gave Jackson this last year. This is The Very Merry Mice and he loves this book. We read this so much. It is very engaging for the pop-ups. You can see right there. But these are mice getting ready on Christmas Eve and there's different swish. It slides down the sled. So what Jackson has found out and figured out is if you go like this with the book that it will continue to do the movement. So kind of a fun engaging book. But again, like I said, this is for little older toddlers because Jackson has started ripping some of these little mice activities. But a cute little book, pop-up book for the Christmas time. Had to sit on the floor, get a little more comfortable. But this next pop-up book is the Christmas pop-up peekaboo. So there are different French Christmas friends hidden in the book. We also have a puppy one that his grandma and papa got him last year. And this is pretty cute because he's looking for his friend. Look behind the huge snow snowball and there is Frosty the snowman. We're looking for a robin behind the ornaments. And Jackson has learned that you can do this and it will move. So kind of a cute, fun, engaging thing. And then Santa has left presents in the stocking. And then it has all the presents and then it says which one do you like best and Jackson will kind of name all of those out. So another cute little pop-up book for your loved one. So getting into the more picture books, rippable books for older kids kind of have a little bit more words to them. The first thing I want to talk about is the sweet smell of Christmas and this is a really fun engaging picture book to kind of introduce your little ones. So it's basically this little bear who is getting ready for Christmas time and on each page there is something for them to scratch and sniff. So his mom is get, making an apple pie so you can scratch and it smells like apple pie and they do still smell like the thing. I think I gave this to him for Christmas Eve last year and they do smell like the picture. Then there's candy canes to hang on the tree so you scratch the little dot sticker and there's candy canes for you. They also get a Christmas tree, so a Christmas tree scent. There's carolers coming, so you get some hot chocolate. But kind of a fun scratch and sniff, different kind of picture book to start them. One, not trying to rip the things, but they're still kind of engaging for a little one. And then another one is a Little Blue Truck Christmas. This is a series of Little Blue Truck. You don't need to have all the books, even though my son looks on the back of the book and is like, I don't have this one. So I'm like, maybe Santa will give you. He, guys, is obsessed with books. But this is a really cute one where the blue truck is making deliveries for the Christmas trees. It goes to all the different farm animals' houses and helps deliver their Christmas trees. And then at the end, it is his Christmas tree. And then it does light up, if you can see that right there. So Jackson loves just looking at this at nighttime, sometimes in his bed, seeing the Christmas tree lights. Really cute book, and if you have a little blue truck lover, you have to pick up the Christmas version. So getting into the picture books for some of the older kids that you may have that kind of have more of an attention span. This first one Jackson got from his grandparents. This is Little Bear's Magical Christmas. It's really cute because the cover is kind of like a snow globe. There's little snowflakes in there. So a babies can even use this and do tummy time and push all the snowflakes all around the bear, but kind of a fun, different, engaging cover for a book. But this book is about the little bear who doesn't think that Santa is coming, doesn't want to write to Santa because he said he has been bad this year, didn't share his toys, his aunt's hat flew away when he wasn't supposed to play with it, but his parents remind him of all the good things that he did throughout the year and kind of encourage those habits. And at the end, Santa does come. He was on the nice list and he has a good Merry Christmas. It's a good book to kind of teach kids what is wrong, what is good, but also remind them the spirit of Christmas too. So kind of a cute book. Next one is a, another Disney book. This is Merry Christmas Woody. And this is Woody and the gang basically getting ready for Christmas time and they decorate the tree, wrap presents. There's a light show, even Rex 
is dressed up as Santa Claus. They're super cute. And they basically are trying to figure out what Woody wants for Christmas and have a light show. And then they get snow on Christmas. So a cute little Toy Story themed book for your Toy Story lovers out there. And then I have three classic stories that everyone needs in their collection. One, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This is one of those little golden books and it tells the classic story of the little red-nosed reindeer. So we absolutely love watching the cartoon of this too, but this is the story book as well. Lots of words on this one, so I do kind of abbreviate some nights with Jackson on this, but a cute story that I think is one of those classic books you have to read every year. Another one is A Night Before Christmas, and I love the illustration of this book in particular. This is the Clement Moore Angela Barrett version, and the pictures are just absolutely stunning. Does The Night Before Christmas, the classic story, Sugar Plums Dancing, and just one of those kind of classic stories. I got this from Barnes & Noble if you're interested. I know this isn't always found online, but I'll try and link this book in the other books down below for you guys. And then the last one, we did take the cover off because Jackson it has just one of those weird personalities. He doesn't like the covers on the books when they're just kind of like the flappable covers, if you know what I mean. But this is Polar Express, if you did not tell by the bell. And we did recently watch this movie. He was obsessed, but we were reading the book before. Again, this is one of your classic Christmas books, in my opinion, where the little boy visits the North Pole with a whole bunch of his, like, fellow believers, and he gets the silver bell as the first present, but then he loses it, and Santa Claus kind of gives it to him the next day for Christmas. So a really cute, like, classic story as well. So those are all of my Christmas books for this year I recommend for children. I hope you guys got some inspiration. I will try and link all of them down below. Hopefully you can still find them available to share with your loved ones this year. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. Can't hang out on the beach without free